touch you, though. It's the really whole, different now, though. Yeah, the whole stories in New York, and the thing I thought was cool is how yeah. the cabs would line up. They'd go to the stoplight, they'd all shh, go away, it'd be clear, and here they all come. And then go, and I'm oh, yeah. the first time I've been there, and I just like sit there and be enthralled by the whole fun thing. And uh, uh, and I, on my last trip, I was a little bit intimidated to hit the subway system, which is how I used to travel when I yeah. when I was there between record companies. You know, I mean, it was fifty cents. So fifty cents was hard to come by to get that. Most of the time, I walked or I roller skated in the eighties. In the oh early '80s, I roller skated cross town. I roller skated to the health club. Yeah, I belonged to a health club, but I couldn't. I didn't have any money to eat. But that was because the, the 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 membership had been paid, you know, when I was signed. So anyway, so I had a nice health club. Well, that was really nice. But um, yeah, the roller skate places or walk across town to get you know deliver like my photos or my you know my promo package. I had to get across town without a cab or. So subways were really a big deal. So 2015, finally, I ended up downtown. I'm going, you know, I know, I know where to go. Just hopping on it. And it was a really, it was still pretty creepy. It was still a creepy uh, down there on Canal Street. And it, the subways are still like hotter than hell down there, and you know, kind of, kind of creepy. But I don't know. I dug it. I dig yeah. New York. I, 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 I like to go there often, and I, I would love to go there again. Um, yeah. I, I love New York. It's weird. It's fun. It's a challenge. Oh, it's amazing. I've just been there a couple times. And, and again, my real, my last time was there. Actually, I saw John Entwistle the last time he played live at the Garden oh. in 2000. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, he died then 10 months later. My brother and I stayed oh. there for two nights uh, at the Howard Johnson's by the Garden. Whoa. And it was the last two yeah. shows of that tour. Wow. And then, I got yeah. to sit next to him one time. <laughs> Yeah, at, I think we were at the Roxy. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Right next to him at the table, it was pretty. I was pretty friggin' frozen, intimidated. I went, wow, I can't believe I'm sitting right here. I didn't say a word. I just listened to everybody, which is pretty unusual. You can imagine how intimidated I was. Well, I didn't he's say saying word. the same thing. He's going. I'm sitting by Karen Lawrence. You know, I'm like, you know. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. My goodness, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> oh, right. You magoo, you! I have oh, done Magoo, it again. You've done it again. <laughs> Remember, I told you that's how I got that nickname. That's oh hilarious. no, I love it. I like so, that. That's cute. Let's go to it right now. If I had it all wrong, all right. live, Karen Lawrence. Thank all you. Right. Please, we'll be back.
Did you hear that? <laughs> no, I didn't. If I had it all wrong. Woohoo! Yeah, I did. That's all. That's 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 common for me. I love it. All those. I different... think I, I think I got it. I think I got it down. But then you know, hindsight. <laughs> I love I all your wrong. leads and your lead into your songs. You'll have that spirit. Let's go now. Come on now. Let's go, guys. And <laughs> you were joking. We were talking uh, about that. How you have so much fun in life, and uh, you know th- you that's know, the spirit. Playing the is so fun. Playing is playing when and that band. The reason we made the live album, which ended up, this is a best of the live album, right? Oh, what you're yeah. playing right now. You know, the songs are turned into three-minute songs where they okay. were, like I had mentioned, been, been So Long was an 11-plus-minute wow. song on the live album. And um, some of those songs were actually cut down. I mean, I'm not going to say they were 20 minutes, but they seemed like it. But um, but live, we, we really were, we had it. We were together for, I think it was four, it, to me, that's a long time, four years the solid uh, group, the drummer, the bass player, you know, Charlie mm-hmm. Diaz, uh, bass, and, and Dan Petrush on drums, Fred Hostetler on rhythm, and Rick Dufay on lead. We were together for a solid four years, and we played almost every day. We'd do stretches like 11 days in a row, take two days off. You know, we really played all the time. We played Tuesday nights. We found, Fred found us a place to play. So we played all the time, and we got really tight. We were just stealing each other's riffs, you know? I mean, Mm -hmm. uh, Fred would come up with something different on a tune, and Rick would just steal it and incorporate it into his thing, and it turns into a a major part of the song. And and it's not not the kind of thing where you predict what the other person's going to do, but you you lean in to it, you know? It it was so incredibly creative um, and such confidence for me, I, I, I just, it's, it's actually hard to describe the, the feeling. Um, I know I'll never, uh, you know, I'm too, too old now to, to probably be in a band like that, that plays every day for, uh, four years straight. And we, you know, we, we were together all through the nineties, but that core was together for, for maybe it was even a little bit longer, but, um, yeah, I'll probably never have that. And I'll and I just try to think in my mind, just don't try to replicate it. I can't replicate it. I just enjoy it. The memory of it. That feeling was just I mean, seriously, I'd go backstage and just have to have to take deep breaths. Did I tell you that before? Mm-mm. In another interview? Oh, well, it was mm-hmm. true. Like after some songs like, oh my god, I got to go back there and collect myself. Really? <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. It, it was it was like just like your a, a, a creative blowing up just what wow and you just let go seriously just let go and i i just creatively as a musician i mean i'll never forget it i'll never forget it and i do it now you know i mean i don't like to just perform a tune i mean if it if i'm playing a song like on guitar myself and and I I have to completely concentrate on it and close my eyes and maybe that's not the best performance you know I'm not like looking around and trying to sell the song especially while I'm playing myself but I'm just trying to recreate the tune as it was supposed to be and just really get into it and I'm talking too much about myself but that band no, was no, no. hot 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 it was so creative everybody was so good on their instrument and then we all listened so much. We had, it was just, it was mind blowing, really, a musical, a musical, uh, mind blowing experience. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Well, Karen, it actually, it comes across that way. The first time I picked it up, and one of the tunes when I need to have a, yeah. a pick up tune is I'll play that because it is the camaraderie, the way you come on, come on, guys, the way you. St- I love that. I love the way you yeah. present it. Well, it's fun. Uh, I'm in the band. I'm listening to you guys and for two, three, five minutes. It takes me away from what I'm doing, too. So that's kind of what well, you were doing cool. that. You know? Well, you, that's cool. You know, I'm, glad, I'm glad that comes across because, you know, certainly that we just, we just made the record because we thought we were good. And we thought, let's get this down. Let's record this. You know, that's why we did it. And you know, that original album with all those songs in their entirety is a double album. Okay. I mean, that's kind of crazy for an independent group. You know, that was an indie release, our own release. 
and Jack came in and we got a mobile truck and, uh, you know, recording truck and, and played at one of our favorite places out in Riverside, had a real nice room, a, a, a large, but not too large a room, had nice acoustics and was a, you know, just had a nice vibe, live, uh, Lake Alice trading company. I don't know if it's still there now, but, um, we had played there frequently and we just felt real good there. And, um, that's where we did the recording. I think it was just one night, one night. So yeah, it was, it was fun. And we wanted to capture it. So, and you did, you, you I don't did know. right I, there on the it vinyl. Was fun. Yeah. It's uh, and it was neat. Cause you asked me when I interviewed the first time, what version it was. Cause now it's all filling in the, the, the dots in here on my end, because you had so many different versions of these songs and you had a live album that was all of it. Now this is cut down. And I think that's really awesome, yeah. the engineering. I would never have any idea that the song carries on longer. Do you know what I mean? How they Yeah, you know that that's Fred. No that's Fred clue. right there. He he did that was his idea. The whole the whole release of The Best of Life was Fred's idea. After a long hiatus. Yeah. Uh, Fred kind of reemerged and in and and this was his idea and I think it was great. He he got me off my butt. You know, and oh, which brings us to current, right? I mean, really, yeah. this just, you know what? I'll tell you, as I had mentioned before, what's so interesting is we've gotten so much um, attention, whether it be, you know, airplay, internet airplay, uh, inter um, reviews. And, and I asked my friend, um, my, my uh, Facebook manager, and <laughs> that's a hint, people, if you ever Facebook me, I don't know how to answer, okay? My friend does it. Anyway, uh, Judy Hill, uh, she, uh, I, I mentioned it to her. I said, I, we just never got this. Kind of, we, we got a lot of reviews. We were really, you know, we were popular. We, we played around. We got a lot of good stuff. I got lots of uh, nice memorabilia, you know, from the 90s. But we have gotten every bit that much in this short amount of time since this release has been out. And she said it. She said, it's the Internet. Because everything is accessible. Yeah. Are you yep. there? You're still there. Well, I yeah, had I'm a call here. coming in. Um, I'm not going to pay attention. But, um, yeah, it's because the Internet makes it accessible. And I've been really thrilled with the comments. Um, you know, and there have been a lot of other uh, kind of um, mm, rock and blues bands, people of our age. Um, and, again, it mixed into the Internet. You can see that... Our our generation, um, uh, you know, we 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 rock a little bit. You know, we have different backgrounds than the originators. You know, we love and and the originators, but we don't have that kind of background. You know, mm-hmm. so so this is how it comes out when we're playing. You know, Joe Bonamassa, Tommy Castro. Um, you know, people rocking. You know. Um, Oh gosh, uh, is it Papa Chubby or Chubbs or, uh, you know, these, these guys are rock. 